In, in simple terms, what Noberport does is it, it builds a human firewall in, 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 in every, every organization. And the main reason why they do that is because, as, as we all know, technology is only going to be so effective at protecting people. Um, you know, I, I, as a distributor, we sell various different solutions covering email security firewalls or, or, or that kind of thing. And the common thread is that nothing is 100% effective. So you need to train staff because we, without st staff being trained, as you've highlighted several times on this call already, the, 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 the fact is that people feel more safe when they're at work because they think they've got a firewall, they've got email security, they've got uh, endpoint security, they've got all these technologies that protect them. But the reality is that what happens is they, they get an email because, and it goes through all of those systems, no problem, it, gets, it doesn't get blocked. Might be a request for payment. There's no attachment, there's no, there's no link in that email. So how is technology going to detect that as being uh, malicious in any way? It can't do it. So by training staff to be able to look at that and say, actually, this is a request for payment, that email address that, that, um, uh, that, that was highlighted was slightly different to what it should be. So we're actually going to, uh, I'm, I'm going to look at this in a bit more detail and, and maybe contact that person and say, are you really requesting this payment? Or is it just a scam? Or is, is it just a, a, a sort of hoax email? So by training staff so that they can identify those things and they know what to look at in every single email, you turn them into your human firewall because at the end of the day, people are the one part of every business that use applications, devices, and networks. And when they click on the wrong thing, that can cause a major issue for the whole organization. So it's vital to create that human firewall and turn your traditional weakest link into your strongest link. Um, and then if you, if you go on to the, the, the next slide, no, before is a, it's a, it's a very comprehensive product and there's a, a hell of a lot to it, but in the most simplest uh, form, it is a phishing solution which does phishing tests. It's got over 11,000 different phishing tests that can be sent out to users so that you can test them to see whether they click on Microsoft emails or banking emails or accounting emails, uh, whether they open attachments and all of those, those kinds of things. Um, so you've got that phishing side of things. So you can test whether people click on those things and, and, and make those mistakes. Um, and then you can train staff as well. So, so point this point to failure training. There's ongoing training courses that you can deliver to staff just so that they get that knowledge over a period of time. And the, the logic is that if you do that, that testing and the training, you'll understand where, where your operational risk is and you'll understand how you need to train your staff so that you can get them to, to, to think in that way every time they get an email that I need to look at all the details on this. If it's a request for payment, what's our, what's our comp company policy? As Graham said, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the time they will try and get um, requests for payments that are below a threshold so that it doesn't get, trigger anything. But you know, everybody gets greedy every now and then, and, and, and you've got to have those things in place. But it's, it's simple things that Noberful gets across to, to users so that whenever they get those emails, they're looking at the right things. They're looking at the, 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 the finer details within those emails to see if they are malicious. Because as I said earlier, humans are your most, or staff are your most valuable and most intelligent resource. So it makes a lot of sense to use them as, your, as, as a key part of your security stack. Because when you do, you just you increase the level of security massively across the organization. That, that's in simple terms. There's a lot of other things that, that Noberfor does. Um, but yeah, so it, it's, uh, it, it's time is obviously limited and I could be here for an hour and James knows <laughs> that for a fact, but uh, yeah, that, that's, that's everything from my side. Thanks. Just to add to that, James, if I could, so we, we, we obviously we use Noberfor internally at Support Room. We have for a good few years. I can't remember how long. And um, it's it's progressed since we first took it on and the, and the yeah. videos are now when you say training, just like to explain that that's we, we use the it's five minute long videos, is it, James? Yeah. Like every every Monday we have a five minute video that drops in. Um, you watch that and you have a couple of questions usually. Just and and they're they're short, sweet, sometimes pr very funny, sometimes relatively funny, yeah. but they're, they're quite entertaining and um, it, it's like low low touch. Uh, repeat repetitive uh, training is is the key to it i think so it's a real it's really helped us internally and with our customers as well well i mean we've uh, first hand seen people talking about it in the business and that is a sure sign that it's starting to impact in the culture which is what you want in in simple terms what no before does is it, it builds a human firewall in in in, in every, every